much for joining us for your Friday afternoon. We made it guys to the end of the week. I'm Faith Jesse. Well, we start with this right now. Several people are facing a judge after being taken into custody following protest at Emory University yesterday Two protest playing out on the university's campus. Over two dozen people were taken into custody, including members of the Emory community. And this afternoon, we know some of the protesters were released. Right now, we are working to confirm how many protesters are still in custody. Emory is one of many college campuses around the U.S. seeing protests over the Israel-Hamas war. Take a look at some of this video, a massive crowd around 1000 people gathered at the center of campus, holding signs and chanting, calling for a ceasefire. Well, earlier in the day, they set up a protest encampment on campus in support of Palestinians. This led to heavy law enforcement response officers taking some people away in handcuffs in response to the police response. Theology students also decided to take action, telling us about plans to occupy the lobby of Candler School, demanding for charges to be dropped for some of those students arrested during the protest. And so it is unfortunate that we're being met with this level of repression. And at the same time, I think that it really does help show just how intense things are on college campuses, because this has honestly been a pressure pot on our campus since um, October. There were also protests just off campus, a pro-Israel group gathered to stand in solidarity with the Jewish community. But at some point, things have got so violent and so crazy and so threatening to young Jewish people all over America that this is not only um, me responding to what's happening at Emory, it's a buildup of what's happening to Jews across the entire United States. Well, Governor Kemp responding to yesterday's protest, saying in part, quote, Americans have watched with horror as radicals have terrorized Jewish students and forced them to evacuate from their dormitories and classrooms. He goes on to say college campuses in Georgia will never be a safe haven for those who promote terrorism and extremism that threatens the safety of students.